came out to watch that sideshow late last night at the intersection of Hooper and Firestone Avenues in Florence. So this is what the car scene had turned into. This is sad. The more takeovers we have, the less events we can attend to. Their idiot ways are killing the passion that we once loved and enjoy. I'm just admitted, the car scene is dying. I love you all. Stay safe. My first ever car related video and it has to be this way. The type of people that unironically attend takeover meets are the same type of people that unironically watch streamers like Jack Doherty and Johnny Somali. See I've actually accidentally attended a takeover meet when I was a ripe young lad at the age of 22. It was just supposed to be a normal meet like any other until some bad eggs decided to join the crowd. It quickly turned into a takeover. So like any other person would, their prehistoric caveman brain decided to take over and I went unga bunga with my camera which resulted in this little short or reel I made years ago. <laughs> I've since uh, developed a frontal lobe and matured a bit and realized that takeovers are dangerous. That was five years ago. Jesus Christ, I feel so old. That was five years ago when I recorded that reel. And let me tell you, I'm not going to actively seek out takeover meets. <laughs> It got so intense, too, that the cops were called, uh, probably by the showrunner or the organizer of the car meet, which would be understandable because, again, it wasn't supposed to be a takeover, and some people are just so red 40 brained that they think they can just do whatever. I couldn't tell you. It's mashed potatoes up there, and they're... they're running amok like they they own the car scene so what brought this video about well i was uh scrolling through instagram reels and i found a takeover clip which was absolutely dumb you know whatever and I scrolled into the comments. The top comment on the reel was low IQ activities. And I decided to look through the replies on there. And I found one goober in particular that was just replying to every single sub comment. Basically everybody in the comments were in agreement that this is fucking stupid. And he was defending tooth and nail. Like he was fighting the goddamn troglodytes of the, the Las Vegas sewers. He was defending this takeover like ridiculously and he wasn't even the original poster he was just some random kid emphasis on kid because this goober doesn't look a day over 12. what if somebody was dying or in labor and needed to get to a hospital and a bunch of degenerates are just blocking the roadways so you can't get through imagine just dying because some some immature underdeveloped kids wanted to play go-karts in the street before we get into goober's comment i just want to read the overall consensus that is on this post. This is some brain dead activities. We'll never understand the appeal to this stupid shit. People like this give the car community a bad name and it's embarrassing. Takeovers are the equivalent of hitting a Fortnite dance at senior prom to impress the girl you like. It ain't cool. You look like a cornball and nothing anybody says is going to change that. Have y'all tried comedy? You're pretty good at being clowns. Y'all can't drive for shit. Low credit score behavior is fucking diabolical. <laughs> My GPA is low, but at least it's not takeover low. Majority is a funny thing. As you can see, 9 out of 10 dentists agree. This is fucking dog water. So going back to the thread of why I got caught up into this and decided to make a goofy video about it. Uh, top comment was low IQ activity. Under that comment, I said, The minute you decide to do this in the street automatically makes it low IQ. A person who doesn't have low IQ would have self-control and go to a track, or at the bare minimum, you can do this shit in parking lots. So that's what I had said under the already acclaimed low IQ activities. 
it's a bit harsh for me to say it the way I did, and I will admit that I could have just easily been like, hey guys, everybody calm down, we don't need to do this. <laughs> but I, I, uh, sometimes I get a little, a little heated when I see irresponsible and reckless behavior with something as dangerous as cars. So I went about my business, my day completely left my mind until a whole 24 hours later, goober number a test subject b dude who was replying to every single comment again he's not even the original poster he replied to me saying womp womp go back to twitch guy i mean is that supposed to be an insult <laughs> he may be right i've i haven't been on twitch in probably like three weeks and should get on it because i've been making youtube videos i don't know where he was going with that go back to twitch pal okay sir god I, i'm sorry if, if you say so you got a pfp where your car is taking up two lanes ion and i always hate it when people say ion i don't want to hear it bro at this point don't even respond because all you can say is low iq at least they don't take up two lanes for a pick brother have you been hitting the crack pipe too hard the crystal meth got you going schizo what the fuck do you mean at least they're not taking up two lanes i am taking up two lanes in my profile pick and these guys are taking up a whole intersection and not just the one car is taking up a whole intersection, multiple cars and crowds of people are taking up an intersection. How is that even comparable? My photo I took was on a country road in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the day when everybody's at work and I had pulled off to the side with my hazards and waited for like a good 15 minutes to see if any cars were gonna drive down this very obscure road that's miles away from civilization <laughs> and nobody did so i said okay i could pull over do one of those cool angle profile pics and take a photo at least they don't take up two lanes for a pick that would imply that that is worse than a full intersection with crowds of people and multiple cars where people get hit and injured at takeovers <laughs> What are you fucking smoking, dude? They are taking up eight lanes minimum with a takeover. Who screwed this guy's head on backwards? This photo was in a safe and controlled environment where it was just me and my friend and nobody else for miles. It's, it's not even close to the same. So the dude was talking shit and instead of giving him the truth, I, I, I lied a little bit. My reply was something along the lines. This was, oh... This photo was taken on a closed street near the track. I don't gotta prove anything. My, my caption for the photo is even, it's always nice to find new roads in the middle of nowhere. And I snapped that photo in probably less than a minute. I snapped that photo, got back in my car and continued on with my way. These takeovers will go on for hours sometimes of people blocking not two lanes but a whole four-way intersection my guy proof that takeover dudes have low iq because anybody with a brain could see the massive major difference and anybody with a higher iq could have at least researched into how that photo was taken with the caption of saying oh we're in the middle of nowhere <laughs> in a safe environment anybody who isn't low IQ could see that my profile pic is nowhere near takeover level. Dude replying to literally everybody in the comment thread. Like, brother, it's okay to be told by more mature and intelligent people that you're wrong. It happens to me all the time. Especially considering you can get the same hype, or I'm sorry, as clout goblins like this refer to it as rizzing up my tires for the wet road coochie. But you could get the same experience on a drift track or in an empty parking lot. And some events even rent out parking lots for this kind of stuff. I guess what makes takeovers entertaining over, you know, just seeing cars go sideways is the illegal aspect of it. It's like the people who would always drink all the time, but the minute they turn 21, they stop drinking or at least slow down on the drinking. The point of me bringing that up is I've been there. When I was a younger kid in the car scene, I was, I don't want to say jaded, but like confused, stupefied at what actually is good for the car scene and what is bad. And I just thought it was all a bunch of like need for speed IRL. Let's get the police here to, to mess around with us. 
And that was stuff that I was thinking like when I was 17, 16, 17, driving my Rice or Ford Focus. That stuff never actually happened, thank God, at the meets that I attended throughout the years. That, that was never a thing. And as I grew older, I realized, oh, that's fantasy. You should probably not be doing those kinds of things on the road. Most people recognize that this behavior is immature and not welcome in the car scene. And I'm sure most of the people in these takeover clips have never been to a real car event. I smack the mic. If you are knowingly attending a takeover meet over the age of 25, by golly buster, you better scram because you should fucking know better. Dude, what the f why are you f***ing here, man? You're so old. Where's your wife? Go home to your family, dude. And I'm sure we've all gone caveman mode, seeing cars go sideways on public roads in dangerous situations. It creates some sort of neuron activation for most car people <laughs> that's unexplainable. But it probably isn't the smartest thing to praise, and once it's over with, you should just move on with your life instead of lingering and encouraging it. So yeah, that's about it. Those are my thoughts on takeover meets. Um, have a good day, everyone.